Hey guys, it's Kristen with another chance resale. Welcome back to another purse sale video. It's Friday, that means it's purse sale Friday. We're gonna sell some purses today. I also have some shoes and a thread up five piece name brand rescue handbag box to open. We're also going to talk about how to spot a fake Goyer purse and Louis Vuitton. So I don't exactly have the purses, um, but I have like the little pouches. So I'm gonna talk about how to um, tell if it's real or fake, uh, Goyer and uh, Louis Vuitton. So let's get into it. So if you're interested in anything that you see in the video, please email me at anotherchanceresale1 at gmail.com. All my information is underneath the video in the description box. You just have to click more or maybe a little arrow to open up the description box. All the instructions on how to purchase are there. And I even have a video that you can watch if you need help finding the timestamp or description box or anything like that. So I will keep a sold list in the comment section. So you just scroll up on this video to where you see everybody's comments and it will be the top comment pinned in the comment section. When you're done watching the video, please refresh the video so you can see the most up-to-date sold list. I do um, update the sold list as things are selling. So please check it, um, refresh it before you check it. <laughs> All right, so then um, in the email, I just need a timestamp and a brief description of the items you're interested in so I can make sure I invoice you properly. Um, I also will um, not, the, the prices you hear in the video are not including shipping. That is based on your location and the weight and then USPS pricing, or I can use UPS as well. Okay. So I think I covered everything really quickly. Let's get into the first section, which is the clearance section. That is comprised of last week's purses that didn't sell, and we're gonna lower them by five, 10, sometimes even $20 or more. So first up is the Elliot Luca. So this is, let me back up a hair. This is the gold metallic leather. It's a quite a large sash, satchel purse. And this one was in such excellent condition. I'm not even sure anybody even wore, like carried this bag. You have the double um, braided handle, woven handles on the top. You have a removable shoulder strap. Um, you have the zipper pocket here on the front. Everything on this bag is super excellent condition. Um, <clears throat> it is a zipper closure on the top and then your interior has one large section. There's your Elliot Luca with the um, zipper and your slips. Okay, so this one we're going to drop down to $52. Let me put you over here and let me move over a little bit. I feel like I'm not really... There we go, over enough. Okay, so next one is the Betsy Johnson. And this one had the really cute um, gummy bear print on it, nice bright colors. Uh, it is a crossbody, you can adjust it to be a shoulder bag. It does have Betsy on the strap. It is a nice small size, so you can carry it around all day long with just your essentials. Excellent, excellent condition faux leather. Um, you have a zipper pocket here in the front and your main compartment has a zipper pocket and a slip. So again, super excellent condition and we're dropping this one to only $20. Next up we had the Vera Bradley. So first up is the pink one. So this one you can adjust to be shoulder or crossbody. Uh, it is just a plain quilted Vera Bradley. It is in really nice condition. You have a pouch pocket on the back. There was just a couple little stains on the bottom that I couldn't get off. Um, the interior, you have a front pouch pocket. There's two right here. And then your interior, you have the zipper pocket. All right, so nice and clean. Like I said, just a few stains on the bottom. 
and we're dropping this one to only $15, you guys, $15. Okay, next up we had the other Vera, which was the Tote. And this is that like really bright purple paisley with the pop of orange. Nice tote, me, uh, medium size. It has the double long handles. Nothing on the back, but there is a zipper pocket on the front with a pouch pocket. Excellent condition. Zipper closure on the top. Clean interior, slips more slips there. Okay, so for this one, we are dropping this one to $25. All right, also I go a little bit more quickly with the um, clearance purses because I um, have shown them already in last week's video. So if you ever need to see the clearance ones a little bit more in detail, just refer back to last week's video and um, I will go through them more in detail. Okay, next one up, <clears throat> I had to just go um, and grab it because I forgot. I, this one is still airing out. This one is the um, light blue pebbled leather Tianello crossbody. And you have the two front pockets here. You have a little bit, very light pen mark right there. Okay. This one um, had just a slight um, cigarette smell to it. There's three compartments. So the back is zippered and it has two slips. And then your middle compartment is zippered and that's where your Tianello is with your zipper. And then your front pocket, your front section is zippered also. You have a zipper section, two slips there and card slots. So like I said, this one does have a slight cigarette odor to it. Um, so full disclosure, I know a lot of people have sensitivity to that. So just letting you guys know, um, we're going to drop it to 20 bucks. Okay, next up we have the Sarita. So this one, I just dropped a bunch. This one was the black leather with like the nylon um, crossbody. Nice size, nice and sleek and classic. Um, you have the pull here with a front pocket. No pockets on the back. And then inside, it's a zipper closure, and you have three sections. So your back section has your zipper. Your middle section is not zippered or anything snapped, nothing, it's just open. And then your front section has no pockets. Okay, so you can kind of see all the sections here. All right, so really nice condition on this one, and we're gonna drop this one to $25. Next up, we had the Batquier, and this one is the bright purple leather crossbody, and it does have a gunmetal chain detail on the strap. This is a functioning pocket here, but these are not. They do work, but there's, there's not a pocket. There's your Batquier. This one it was in super excellent condition as well. This is a very nice brand. You have a top zipper closure, super nice interior, zipper here, card slots there. Really nice, fun purse. And this one we're going to drop to $40. Okay. Up next, I have the Lug. So this one is the blue shoulder purse. Excellent condition. You have the quilted front here with a zipper pocket. A lot of organizational things here. Okay, the bottom is nice. You have a back zipper pocket. It is just a shoulder bag. This is a front pouch pocket. Then your interior is a zipper closure. This is called the Lug Samba. And interior, super clean. You have a zipper pocket there and slips there. All right, so this one we're dropping to $20. Next up, we had the Vera wrap. So this was kind of like, um, like a travel uh, wrap that you can put your toiletries in or your jewelry. It does have the strap to um, tie it up. And then when you open it, 
you have all these different sections. They are all zippered. This one is clear. This one's clear. This one's clear, but this one is not. And they all zipper. So you have four different sections for jewelry or toiletries. And then you're gonna just wrap it up like that and you can tie it on the top. And we're gonna drop this one to $10. Next up, so now from the Shop Goodwill lot that I won, um, the purse lot that I won, we have two purses left from that. And the first one is the MW. So this is a faux leather, MW is the brand. Nice, big, um, soft faux leather strap. You can adjust it to be shorter to make it more of a shoulder bag. It's got a lot of ruching. It's in really great condition. It's super soft. You have a top zipper closure. And on the interior, you just have the zipper pocket there. Okay, so for this one, we're dropping it to only $10. And then also from that lot, we had the Genuine Leather Crossbody. Um, <clears throat> excellent condition, really nice black leather. This would actually be great for a man also. It's very unisex. Um, so you can adjust the strap a little bit shorter. You have the two zipper pockets, I mean, Velcro pockets in the front, along with a zipper pocket. You know, phone, keys, um, you know, phone if you want in there. Then you have your main section. Oh, wait, you have a back pocket as well. Then your main compartment is zippered. There's your genuine leather stamp right there, your zipper, and very clean inside. So great crossbody bag, unisex, and we're dropping this one to $15. Okay. Then we had one bag left from the America's Thrift Supply box that I opened, and it's the Lily Pulitzer. I'm surprised nobody wanted this. So this was in really good condition. There was a couple of stains, um, very minor stains, and there was just a little bit of discoloration on the handles just from, you know, holding it. Um, no major stains. There was that one here. It has a really cute owl print blues and pinks um I'm trying to see where the other stains were they were small um the bottom was nice here's a stain little one right there so not too bad and then the interior you do have a zipper closure on the top there was a couple little stains um like along the zipper there up here and here i did try to get them out um, I couldn't get them to budge. Um, there was also a mark right there. Um, but really great tote just to take to the beach. And we're going to drop this one to only $15. 15 bucks, you guys. And there's a little pocket right there. All right. So that wraps up the clearance section. Let's get into the thrifted purse section. Um, so the first one up is, prob is one of my favorites. I have two favorites of this haul this time. So the first one I brought out, I'm going to bring out first, and that is this gorgeous coach bag. This is called the Coach Prairie. It's like a cream uh, pebbled leather with these beautiful florals on it. Um, there are a couple little rhinestones. I think actually it's just like glitter. You, it does come with the shoulder strap or crossbody strap. You have a functioning pocket, zipper pocket here in the front. Nothing on the back. This bag is in super excellent condition. It's a nice like medium size. The zipper top and then you open it and you have a nice tan interior. Um, Creed with your zipper. Really super clean. Now this one is currently selling on eBay for no less than $124, all the way up to $335 if it's new. I am gonna bring this one to you guys for $90. So that is 
a lot cheaper than if you were to go buy this on eBay right now. Okay, and it's in really, really nice condition. So I really like that one, great bag for the spring. Okay, next up I have a vintage Kipling. So this is one of the original Kipling designs with the big, bold contrast zippers and everything. It is a um, crossbody or shoulder bag. You can adjust it. It is blue and it's small. Um, everything on it is very nice, very clean. You have a front zippered pocket that has some um, card slots. You have a middle section which has a little key fob. And then your back section has your zipper. All right, let's do the phone test. Where did I put my phone? Oh, it's charging. Okay, let me go get it. It fits. It fits and it zips. So large iPhone, it fits. So for this one, we're going to do $30. All right, let's flip the page and continue on with two Vera Bradleys. So first one up I have is this vintage style purse. You have the bright pinks and purples and a little bit of green in there. You have nice big double handles. No outside pockets, you have, except for one on each side over here. It is in very nice condition. You have like the hard um, cinched top here. So you have the two pulls to open it. All right, and then your interior has a zipper and two slips. So for this one, we are going to do $30. And then the other Vera I have is this little cutie. It is uh, blues and browns, it's small. And you can adjust this crossbody to be a shoulder strap. Um, that's how it came. Um, you can just loop it through these loops here. So if you want me to change it back to a shoulder bag, let me know, I can do that for you. But it's a super cute little purse excellent condition and the cool part about this one is that it comes with a removable little wallet section you can put your id here if you want i don't know if a cell phone will fit in there i know mine won't but um and then inside you have some credit card slots and a little zipper pocket so there's that and it is removable you don't have to have it in here it's all one little set though, and for this one, I'm going to ask $20. Next up, we have two Kate Spade purses. First one is this beautiful mint green leather quilted little shoulder bag. These are great for if you're going out to the bar. You don't have to worry about you know losing your bag. You just have it under your arm here and you can double fist your drinks and be safe all night long. <laughs> so um, uh, this is really great. It's in really great condition. There's no pockets on the back. The corners um, and everything are okay. There's just a couple little small stains on the bottom that I couldn't get off. But other than that, it's awesome. You have a um, zipper closure on the top and your interior has some card slots and your Kate Spade label is down there. So for this little cutie, oh wait, let's do the phone test. Perfect. Okay, so this one we're gonna do $35. Next up is the other Kate Spade and this one is a crossbody or shoulder bag and then look at this, matches my outfit with a little pop of pink. <laughs> Wait, should this be the um, default? The uh, profile picture, the thumbnail? <laughs> okay, so this one's super cute. This is a black Safiano leather with a like woven um, 
like cream color and black polka dots. It's in excellent condition. The top is a little um, snap. And then you have your interior zipper and slips. Um, okay, so now the, the strap, I will admit to you, it is not original to the purse. I added it because this purse did not have a strap. Um, it is not a Kate Spade strap, but it is black leather and it does have the gold tone hardware. So I thought it fit really nicely with it. So I'm going to include it. You can make it um, longer than it is now. It's a nice shoulder length right now. So um, I married these two together. And for this purse, we're going to ask $50. Okay, next up we have, this one is unbranded, but it is awesome. It is genuine leather. It has the nice textured croc print. This does say genuine leather right here. It is set up right now to be a shoulder bag, but you can adjust it to be crossbody. You have a uh, zipper pocket on the back. This bag is in like new condition. Um, there's just a little stain here. I did try to get that off. It is, it, I can't get it out. Um, but that is the only thing I could find wrong with this bag. You have a snap pocket there. The top is zippered. And then your interior has a zipper and slips. And let me see if maybe the brand is on here. No, it just says genuine leather, polyester interior, okay. So really great color, genuine le leather. And we're gonna do this one for $45. All right, next up we have a super cute black, Patent leather coach bag. It's again a nice little shoulder bag. And it is um, small. Sorry, Dallas is barking outside. You have, um, it's in really great condition. All right, really nice. Handle everything. It did not come with a hang tag. You're gonna unlock the kiss lock. You have a front little pocket here. And then your main compartment has a slip pocket, your creed, and a little card slot on the other side. Um, there is a little bit of uh, discoloration down there. I did clean it. I mean, you can barely see it in that corner a little bit. But just wanna be full disclosure with you guys. So this super cute, Black Patent Leather Coach, we're gonna do for $30. Next up we have, okay, so this is um, my second favorite, and it is made in Austria, and it is a 100% wool and leather tote purse. Oh my gosh, how cool is this? So that's one side. And that's the other. I conditioned the handles because they were so dry, they were white. Okay, so you got the leather braided handles. Zipper closure on the top. Now the inside is, a, is very raw, so just keep in mind that this is handmade in Austria. So you have a zipper pocket there. And then this side, has all your information, pure wool, and then your Austria information, okay? And then it is a, there's no lining. All right, but it's very, very, very cool. I love it. Um, I did check the handles, they seem to be okay. I just wouldn't put anything too heavy in this. I just think it's so cool and it's very big, look. I stinking love it. Um, and this one we're gonna do for $48. All 
All right, next up we have a Kipling, another Kipling, but this one is kind of like a splatter paint design. It is shoulder bag or crossbody. It does come with the little monkey dude. Um, it is in good condition. You have the zipper pocket in the front, zipper pocket in the back. Um, corners and bottom are really nice. Top uh, zipper closure. The interior does have a little bit of discoloration, but I did clean it the best I can. There's a little key fob there. Kipling with the zipper, so you can see the little bit. It's really not bad, but I just have to disclose as much as I can. Just remember these bags are used um, and they will have flaws. I always try to point them out to you guys the best that I can. Um, and this one we're gonna do for $30. Okay, then we have a Le Sport Sack, super cute little um, shoulder bag. Again, fits nicely right under the arm. It is black with all these pretty florals. It is in excellent condition. Zipper closure. And there's no pockets or anything on the interior. Nice and simple. The sport sack, excellent condition, and we're gonna do this one for $20. Next up we have, this one's a really cool one too. This is by Montana West. This is a black leather, tooled with the fringe crossbody. I love it. It is in excellent condition. You have a zipper pocket here on the back. I conditioned it, it came out even more gorgeous than it, it already was. You have the nice woven uh, sides here. So you lift up the flap and you have your interior with the slip pocket. Super, do, oh wait, let's do the phone test. We good. Love it. So cute, very boho. Um, adjustable, but it is the crossbody. And I'm gonna do this one for $40. Okay, I feel like I'm really far away. That didn't really work. Okay, um, next up we have a Betsy Johnson backpack. This one um, is faux leather. Hi Dallas, let me just shut the door guys. You good boy. Mommy's almost done. Okay, so next up we have the um, black faux leather Betsy Johnson backpack. It does have adjustable straps. It is in excellent condition. This is like a little cat. Um, you can have it either way. You can have it this way if you want. Okay, you have your Betsy. Um, excellent condition, like I said, black faux leather. Pop open the top. Your interior is nice and clean. You have a zipper pocket there and slips there. All right, super cute, small backpack purse. And we're gonna do this one for $35. All right, let's bring these guys closer. Closer, closer, two more. Ugh, okay, so next up we have a lug. This one's called the Lug Flyer, and it is a crossbody or shoulder bag. It is black, and it's got like the quilted look to it. You have a pocket, zipper pocket here in the front. Zipper pocket in the back. Excellent and clean condition. Zipper closure on the top with a zipper pocket. All right, nice small size. We're good. And this one we're going to do for $28. Next up we have a, okay, so this brand I've never heard of, but I loved 
the quality and the look of the purse. So you got, it's black leather, it's by a brand called Be Lit. And what happens with the strap, it is crossbody, but you can take off one of the straps and make it a shoulder bag. And this part is not on your shoulder, the shoulder part is up here, so this would be like either up to your front or to your back. Um, so it is adjustable, really cute size. Um, nice on the back, really great condition. I did condition it. Um, open it up, you have two slip pockets here in the front, and then your zipper compartment on top has a slip pocket. And that's the tag, it's like a super long tag, look at that. <laughs> <laughs> so this one we are going to do for $35 next up we have a I didn't even research this one so if it's something special you guys will get a good deal cure rose it is leather it is a crossbody you can adjust it to be a little bit shorter of a strap it is pink and gray pebbled leather. It is in excellent condition. All right, you're gonna pop open the top with the little tassel. You have a front pocket. You have a zipper closure on the top. And then inside, there's your brand with the zipper and your pouches, pouch pockets there. So super cute. I really like this color combo because you can wear it in the spring or the fall, okay? So all year round color combo and we're gonna do this one for $40. All right, next up we have a Tianello. This one, I love it. I've never seen this color combination. It is black, like a cream, and then you have a very thin brown in the center. Um, or I should say along the center line. Um, nice long double handles. Zipper pocket in the back. This one is in excellent condition. Gorgeous. All right, beautiful handles. You have three compartments. So it's a snap closure. So you have the back section here. It's in beautiful condition on the interior. You have a zippered section in the center and that's where you have your tnlo and a zipper and slips and then your front section is snap as well and there's nothing in the front so gorgeous clean lots of compartments again this one would be great year round and we're gonna do this one for 45 dollars let's put you over here then we have last but not, well, last of the purses, and then we're going to go into the, the littles. I snagged Tory Burch. Now, this one does have a little bit of wear, but I think it gives the bad character, and I know my Tory Burch lovers will take it even in this condition. I condition the leather, everything. It's really, really beautiful. So it is a like medium to large, um, almost like a little tote bag. It is a gorgeous chestnut leather. You have the perforated um, Tory symbol in the front, gold tone hardware. The back does have a little bit, a couple little scratches. The corners do have a little bit of wear. Okay. The bottom is a little bit dirty and have a couple little nicks on it, like right over there. Um, the handles are darker on the top because of the oils on people's hands. But overall, I think this is a beautiful bag. So then the interior is a snap closure. Okay. Got your Tory with a zipper pocket here. All right, 
and a pouch pocket. Very clean. Now the pouch pocket was ripped. So this right here is, I glued it, okay? I did not sew it. I fabric glued it, so just be careful, you know, cause it may come undone, I don't know, but it was, from here up, was not stitched. So just please be careful with that um, pocket, but I just want to disclose that. Um, so beautiful, beautiful couple little issues but we're gonna do this one for 55 all right I do think it's still it still has a lot of life left to it okay so let's go into the littles first up I have I thought this was so cool you guys it is a Steve Madden water bottle and carrier I've never seen one of these before where have I been how cute so this thing is brand new with the tag. It has a $60 price tag on it. Steve Madden. Um, it comes with the carrying case. It ha it's like a Sherpa. And then you have the water bottle. Okay, I don't think it was ever used. I did open it, smell it, everything looks great. All right, so it goes right in there. You can carry it with you. Like if you're going on a walk, I know I know the carrying thing is a little bougie, but um, it's really great for going on walks so you don't have to hold your water bottle the whole time. So I thought that was really cool. So I'm gonna do this one for $25. Valentine's Day gift. New with tag, 60 bucks on the tag. <laughs> okay, so next up, and then we're going to talk about the um, Goyar and Louis Vuitton. So first we have a Vera, Vera Bradley, black wristlet, patent leather, super cute, love it with the nails and the lipstick, uh, super cute florals there, excellent condition, super clean on the inside, big pocket there, card slots there. And we're gonna do this one for $12. Next up, I found a Bagalini wristlet. I've never seen one of these. So wristlet, really cool if you have a gray or red Bagalini to add this to it. Excellent condition. Okay, it is the um, RFID protected. Super clean, really cute. We're gonna do this one for 10. Okay, so <laughs> up next we have a Tiffany & Co. Um, it's like a gold, it's like a dark gold bronzy leather, metallic leather. It is a little pouch. Um, it does have some wear on the corners. Not too bad, I did condition it. Um, there's a little bit of wear on the pull. Uh, it looks like it was a wristlet at some point. Uh, the interior, is obviously Tiffany blue. There is a little bit of wear and um, stains in the corner, but overall, this is really beautiful. You can use it to store your Tiffany jewelry in, or you can um, use it in your purse for your makeup or your toiletries when you travel, whatever you would like. Um, comps for this on eBay are literally all over the place. I've seen them from $20 to $200. Yes, somebody paid $200 for this on eBay. But I'm going to give it to you guys for $30. Okay, $30. Tiffany & Co. Really cute. Okay, let's talk about some Goyard and Louis Vuitton. So first up, and then we're going to get into the shoes and then we're gonna get into the thread up unboxing. So if you guys are unaware of Goyard, this is the, the print that it looks like, okay? So I did a lot of research on this, but if I'm missing something or if you guys know, you know something else that um, you can add, feel free to comment in the comment section. Please be kind, okay? You know, constructive criticism is always welcome, but be nice. Um, so these, this is fake, but I wanted to 
kind of do like a little lesson, a little teaching lesson. So um, these are what come in the larger tote bags. Um, I forget what they're called, but I should know. I did so much research on it. But anyway, these come with the larger totes. They're um, actually connected with the tote. But um, I grabbed them because, number one, there was a chance they could be real. And number two, if they weren't, I can teach you guys. So this is a French brand. Um, so right off the bat, when I, when I looked at it, I thought that the fabric, it, it, it's, it doesn't feel like leather, it feels like plastic. Um, they do do leather bags. Um, but I did notice that the Goyard uh, emblem here looked pretty real to me. I'm, I'm not too familiar with this brand. I've never owned anything by this brand, nor has any of my friends, so I am very unfamiliar with it, so that's why I did a lot of research. But it does have, you know, the ring here that connected it to the tote. Um, it does have the back pocket. Um, so on the outside, what gives, what gives it away that it's fake is the real ones are a little bit um, wider so um and more square like this is very rounded the real one is a little bit more squared off and this part down here is a little bit longer all right so the pouch itself is a little bit bigger the second thing that i learned is that the stitching here it's all touching the stitching on the real goyar they have a little teeny space in between the stitching also, you guys aren't gonna be able to see it too well, but also the A up here on the real Goyar has legs, like has little feet on the bottom of the A. The, these do not. Um, so same thing with the stitching in the back. And then when you open it, obviously this one is plastic because it's, you know, I just am doing a learning experience. So the real one, it will say Goyar right here on the inside of the snap. The font will be um, stamped in like this, but it, um, it is closer to the snap. And then the serial number will be there, but this is huge. The real serial number is very, very, very small. Okay, so that's that so um but if anyone is interested in this as is there's a couple little boo-boos to it i will do it for ten dollars okay um and then the other one i have is this one this one is more realist real more more closer to the real thing let's put it that way so, but again, the size is very, is smaller. So the, si the size on the real one, it is longer here and more squared off than these rounded edges. Um, again, with the stitching, um, these stitches are touching. When you see a real Goyar, um, they have a little itty bitty space in between each stitch. And again, I don't know if you're gonna be able to see it, but the A in the logo here, will have feet on it this one does not um there's something with the dots too it's like 16 and 17 dots alternating or something like that the guy was going too fast that i was trying to watch and i and he was moving the thing around too much and i was like okay just forget it um but again the back has a pocket um this one is in much nicer condition but again you can feel that it's not leather you can feel that this is plastic uh, so we're going to open it up. Everything's very clean. This one actually does have the Goyar on this inside snap. But if you can look at the imprint here, it's way crooked. It is closer to the top like the real one, but it is, it's not centered. And then the serial number is smaller like it is supposed to be but because of the the um how it's printed here the stitching and also the dead giveaway on this one there's no ring there's no ring that would have held it into the the tote the the mama tote <laughs> so 
just thought I would share that with you guys. If anyone's interested in this one, I would do 20 for it. So $10, $20. Um, this one to me looks more real, even though it doesn't have the D ring on the back. Um, but who's going to look at the back of your pouch? So if anyone's interested, if not, it's okay. Um, I just bought them for educational purposes and I know some people don't mind, you know, uh, designer luxury style, um, items. Okay. Now we're going to look at the Louis Vuitton. So right off the get, it's not leather. Okay, it is not leather, it is plastic. I'm sorry, not leather, canvas. Their LV is canvas, this is canvas. The um, trim around the bag is leather. So first out the get, this is not leather. And also Louis Vuitton uses one piece of material. So the front will be right side up and the back will be upside down. Does that make sense? Um, so that's another giveaway. Other giveaway is there's no LV on this pull. And then interior, I mean, it's very clean. This is like a brand new wristlet or pouch, but there's no serial number. There's no nothing on the inside. Um, even though this is in super de duper, awesome condition. I'm just checking. <laughs> I'm kidding. It's fake. Um, but like I said, I have one just like this, but it's green and I keep it in my bag and who cares? You know, if, if someone sees it really quick, you, you never know. But like I said, some people like to, they don't care if it's the style or if it's the real thing, but, um, that's just like really quick right off the bat. Um, LV, they, the LVs will be upside down on the other side. There is a way to count. They like or to alternate with the patterns or something like that. Um, and you know, it's, this is like a rubber. Okay. It's not the canvas that they use. Um, let me actually get my Louis Vuitton and I'll show you the difference between this and the okay. canvas. This I actually found at Savers. You guys helped me determine if this was real or not many videos ago, but the canvas, okay, I don't know. I mean, you can obviously tell better when you can touch it. Um, so anyway, but this one does not have the upside down font because it is two different pieces because it has the leather on the bottom, but the wristlets, like the pouch and makeup ones, they have like a rounded bottom where the other side is upside down. So that's that. This is the real deal. I don't really even carry this that often, but it's just like a piece to have in your, in your collection, right? Okay, so if anyone's interested in this one, I think it's super cute. Like I said, you can use it for your purse. This is the green one I was telling you about that I have. Um, I'll do this one for 20 bucks. I think it's cute. Okay. So let's go over these shoes really quickly. Um, let's see. So up first we have a pair for the kids. We have a super cute pair of Kula Burra by Ugg. They are a purple suede. These are a size one for girls. I don't know what that means. I don't know anything about <laughs> kids sizing, but I just know that that's what the tag says on the inside of the shoe. Okay, super nice and clean. Size one. And we're gonna do these for 20 bucks. All right, then next up we have a pair of Crocs, almost the same color like a periwinkle. These are in great condition, a little bit used. They are a size eight in men's, 10 in women's. All right, 10 women's, eight men's, very nice condition. And we're gonna do these for 20 as well. All the shoes are actually gonna be $20. 
Then we have a pair of fit flops. I love selling these. These are like the workout while you walk shoe. These are a um, faux leather black booty. Pull on. These are a size nine. Okay, super cute. Great condition. 20 bucks. And then last but not least, we have a pair of Heelys. <laughs> so these are a women's eight or a boys or men's six. Okay, they are like a knit black and gray. Lace up, Heelys. Um, the heel can come out. These are so back in style. My husband actually has a pair. It looks more, there's like a white um, high top. All right, but these are in really nice condition. Size eight women's, six in men's, and 20 bucks on these as well. Okay, guys, so that's everything. Let me go get the thread up box. It is all the way over here. I'm trying not to stop the video too many times because I'm gonna get confused when I'm editing everything. All right, so remember, if you uh, like anything, email me, anotherchanceresale1 at gmail.com. All my information's in the description box. Please check that sold list. Refresh the video after you watch it so you get the most up-to-date list. This is the name brand Thread Up Handbag Rescue Box. Um, it is from Phoenix, Arizona, and I hope it's a good one because their boxes have been eh lately. Do I have an invoice? I guess not. All right, that's good. Here is the first look. So it looks like a Michael Kors right on top. So let's take a little peek. So this is four name brand handbags, one accessory from threadup.com and you just have to keep checking that rescues page over and over and over again until you catch a release. They do not let you know when they are releasing them. It is all random, okay? Um, so this is a Michael Kors, oh, bummer. You know what I would do with that? I would just cut it. I would cut that right off um, because other than that, it looks really nice. I mean, it's got nice beige leather um, handles. You got the pocket in the front that's really clean. There's very minimal wear on all the other um, corners. I literally would just cut that right off and you'll be good. I could always do that for you. The handles are great. It is a snap closure. I mean, this is a really clean bag, you guys. Holy crap. There is a zipper pocket, zipper pouches, slips there, super clean. I will cut that off if you want me to. Um, I'll do it for 40 bucks. It's like, it's not perfect, but it's, it's pretty, it's pretty a nice condition. All right. We have a Mark by Mark Jacobs wallet. So the plate is not bad. There's a little bit, a little bit of scratching, not too bad. Um, it's like a taupe color. It looks like you have some black marks on the back, but other than that, it looks okay. Oh wait. And on the front. I don't know if that will come off or if that's scratched. I will try to fix that, but no guarantees. Um, the pull has very, very, very little wear to it. Oh, it's open already, but let me just check the zipper. Zipper works. Okay. So you got all your card slots. Always check all these. I do find like stuff in here sometimes. You got two slits on the side here. 
You have a slit here, a zippered pocket. So overall, this is great. Um, there's just the marks here, here. Oh, and I see one up here too. But like I said, I'll try to fix that. I don't know if it's dirty or if it's scratched. It might be scratched, but um, 20 bucks. We have a Rebecca Minkoff, the... Um, I'm in almost every rescue box bag. <laughs> I've literally gotten this bag in every color it comes with. I think, wow, there is a lot of hair stuck to that. I don't know if you guys can see that. That's quite disgusting. Um, why are these always so mangled? I guess people really love, love them and wear them until they literally fall apart. Yeah, this one's really not that great, you guys. There's a lot of wear to the um, studs right there. Um, the chain has some wear to it. Uh, there's some marks right here and here. Ooh, geez. Mm. Discoloration on the corners. The inside pocket's clean. Top. Oh, God. I don't think it's coming through as clear. It Look how dirty that is. What is... That, I mean, it's not even coming through as gross as it truly is. Mm -mm. Nope. Um, five dollars if anybody wants it. That is, no, that is dirty. You are a dirty little girl. All right. <laughs> so right off the bat, the, the edge coat is completely gone from these straps. It's not the most horrible thing. Um, it's just, it just kind of looks ugly. It is a Kate Spade tote. Smile, not with the condition of this one, with those handles. I mean, the outside looks really nice. Just maybe looks a little dirty. There is wear to the corners. Okay. Um, zipper closure, let's make sure it works. Yep. See all that discoloration? I mean, why do you make a handbag with a white interior? Come on. Like, look at what it's supposed to, look at the white, how white it's supposed to be. <laughs> it's not disgusting, it's just dirty. I don't know if I can get that out. And the bottom is ripped, look. I don't know if I can show you. There you go. The whole corner is ripped. I can try to clean it, but like I said, the edge coat is like completely missing on all the handles, all the sides of the handles. Um, I don't know if anyone would be interested in it, but I'm just gonna do $10. $1, $2, $3, $4, $5, $6, $7, $8, $9, $10. Four, five. Okay, here's the last one. I love the pink. It's a Dooney. Oops. Um, thread up. Come on. I don't know if that's just dirty or what, but there is some wear where the you know color is completely missing. Ay, 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 ay. I don't know if cleaning it is gonna do much, but you have the hang tag. Oh, geez, that almost just cut me. So this blue, see the duck? It's like sticking out, and it literally almost just sliced me right open. See that? 
So I will glue that down because that's a little dangerous. Um, I mean, this one's gonna need like a full on bath. It's not terrible on the inside. It's just a little discolored. It's really, it's not that bad, honestly. It definitely does need to be cleaned though. Um, so, I mean, I don't know what it's gonna look like after I clean it. It's, it's not horrible, cause this is the back. No one's gonna see it. It's gonna be against your body. Um, but I just, I want to point out as much as I can, it could just be really dirty. I don't know. Um, I will try my best to clean it. Uh, the handle is great though. The handle looks awesome. Um, I'll do it for $30. That wasn't so great. Let me know what you guys think. Did you have a favorite purse of the haul? Um, thank you guys for watching. Remember to email me. All my information is in the description box. I appreciate each and every one of you. Give that thumbs up if you haven't already. Subscribe. I love you guys. Thank you for watching, and we will see you in the next one.